Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today is the day that I announce the 4th of July challenge here on my channel. I done a 4th of July day challenge last year on my channel um, and we had a lot of great success with it. Um, it is not only a challenge, but it is a giving back to the community situation. I'll get into details further on in this video, but I hope that everybody here is uh, proud to be an American, or if you're not from America, if you are proud to be from whatever country that you are in, give this video a big like. Um, this is the time of year that we celebrate our independence and our freedom here in this country, which is such a huge uh, reason why um, our country is what our country is today. So it's a day of celebration, it's a day of remembrance for all of those who fought to get us here and continue to fight for us uh, to keep us safe and protect our freedoms. Um, it is, like I said, one of my favorite holidays of the year. Um, and I am so proud to um, live here and grateful that I have people um, unseen watching out for me and my family. Um, thank you guys so very much for all the military um, present, uh, military and also the veterans. Um, I can't thank you enough and I appreciate you wholeheartedly. Um, so without any further ado, um, this challenge this year is going to be super simple. Um, all I want is a 4th of July themed pocket letter. Um, for those of you guys who aren't crafty, you may not know what this means. I have a lot of different types of viewers here on my channel. Um, crafting is a very big part of my life. Um, I do a lot of DIYs, I do a lot of crafting. Um, so those of you guys who are not crafters, um, if you would like to join, you're more than welcome to do so. But for those of you guys out there that are my crafters, um, you guys obviously probably know what a pocket letter is. This is not a 4th of July themed pocket letter, but this is the last pocket letter that I had received. Um, and this one is from Lynette. And we, I have a huge binder that I keep every single pocket letter that I've ever gotten in. And this was just the one on top. So this is the one that I'm showing you. Um, it is a nine pocket pocket letter. That's what I want. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, these are like baseball sleeves that these are sitting in. So please put it in a baseball sleeve, do up a pocket letter like this. Um, if you guys don't know how to make one, then you can always look. There are plenty of tutorials out there on how to do a pocket letter. I have a tutorial video way back in the day on how I do pocket letters. Um, so you can go to, I want to say... Like it's like in the very beginning of my channel, my tutorial on pocket letters. I'm not even sure I have it put in a playlist, but all you gotta do is really search. Um, if you're interested and you don't know what a pocket letter is and you're interested in learning how to, just um, type in the search bar um, tutorials on pocket letters and you will find a massive supply of pocket letter tutorials. Um, so like I said, you don't wanna do it in this theme, although this one is very, very gorgeous. Um, and like I said, this one came from Miss Lynette, um, and that was the last one I received. So um, we want to do a Fourth of July day, a Fourth of July themed nine pocket pocket letter. I do not want you to put goodies in the back. Um, there's no need for putting the goodies in the back. Instead, I would like for you to do something different. I would like for you to send me a school supply. Now, sending me a school supply is not required. This will get you one point, a pocket letter, and then the school supply will get you one point. So if you send me a box of crayons or a package of pens, they do have to be new in the package because these school supplies are getting donated to our local school here, um, bringing me into the uh, next part of this video and that is for those of you guys who don't know last year I um, we do a fill up the backpack uh, donation here in our town for kids who are less fortunate who can't necessarily buy school supplies or for mothers out there who have six kids and they have the means to buy two but they don't have the means to buy the other four kind of school supplies kind of deal anybody who is in need of school supplies 
Um, education is a very important thing uh, to me, to our community. Um, so we like to help out in that area as much as we can. So if you would, you there's a possibility of getting two points in this challenge. You can send your pocket letter and you'll get one entry. And then you can send in a school supply and you'll get another entry. Um, now, if you want to send more than one school supply, that's okay. But you're still just getting an entry for school supplies and an entry for the pocket letter. Um, I like to keep it as simple as I possibly can. Um, so the school supplies can be, you know, pens, glue sticks, scissors, anything that is um, something that, you know, mostly um, a school supply that any age can use. Of course, high schoolers can't really use glue sticks, but you guys get the drift. Um, where mostly high schoolers really don't require a lot of school supplies. It's mostly like kindergarten through like sixth or seventh grade, I would say. Um, so pens, pencils, glue sticks, scissors, um, folders, anything like that that you can think of that you would like to send that's going to be easy for you to ship and not cost you too much money to do so. And you would like to, it's not required. The pocket letter is required to enter the challenge, but the school supply is not. But if you would like to help out a community uh, by sending a school supply, then I would be more than happy to accept that donation for our community here in the town that I live in. And basically, that's it. I would like for you guys to like the video, share the video, and then follow me on Instagram. Um, if that information and my Instagram will be in the description bar below. And I will check that stuff, guys. So please... Um, make sure you do all those steps so I don't have to um, not count your entry. Especially if you are entering into my challenge, you will need to follow me on Instagram. And the reason why is because I get so many, so much happy mail, so much friend mail, so many um, entries and I do swaps and stuff that I'm gonna start posting those on Instagram to share with you guys. So if you guys would please, um, go over there and follow me on Instagram because I'm not going to individually be making videos anymore. I'm going to probably um, make clips of your project and it'll end up all in one video and or it'll be shared on Instagram. So if you guys would please um, go over there and follow me on Instagram at The Messy Mom's Life, then I would appreciate that. And other than that, that's it. Um, this challenge is going to go from today or whenever this video is posted until the end of July um, and then I will stop it. The prize package for this has yet to be um, announced so I'm not sure. I think I'm just going to do either like one big prize or I'm gonna do it depends on how many people enter the challenge and that's the reason why I haven't really decided what the price package is going to be so it's either going to be a gift card or money into your PayPal or it's going to be like one bigger prize like maybe a tool of some sort maybe like a um stamp board or an envelope punch board or something like that I haven't decided so yes, if you do not have my address and you need it, uh, please email me at The Messy Mom's Life. Don't forget to check the description box for the challenge information. And um, I hope that everybody enjoys their summer and enjoys their 4th of July most importantly and remember what we celebrate it for. And I hope you guys will enter into this challenge. All right, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the description box below. You know how this goes. And if you have a question that you need answered right away, please don't hesitate to email me at themessymomslife at gmail.com, all of which this information will be in the description bar below. So have fun, create, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.